Welcome to Bot Sailor. Today in this video, we will show you how to broadcast messages to WhatsApp subscribers. We may send any type of messages on broadcasting to active subscribers who are inside the 24-hour window. But, if the subscribers are inactive in the last 24 hours, or were manually added, we must use a message template to send broadcast messages. To create a broadcast campaign, go to the WhatsApp menu and select Broadcast. Then pick the bot account, for which the broadcast campaign is to be created. Click on the Create button. As soon as we accomplish that, the Visual Flow Builder will launch. There is an action button and a start bot flow. In the actions, broadcasting is already selected. Give a name for the campaign. We have two options here, 24 hours and any time. If we select 24 hours, then this broadcast will be targeted to those who are active in the last 24 hours. If we choose any time, it will target all subscribers. But we must use a message template to broadcast. We will see how to create a message template and use it for any time broadcast soon in this video. Let's do this for 24 hours. It will show the total number of targeted subscribers. We can include or exclude subscribers by using a label. For example, if we want to exclude subscribers with a certain label, then we will add that label in the exclude field. Yes, we can see that the targeted subscribers are fewer now. Click on the OK button. Now, double-click on the Start Bot Flow and give a name for it. Let's add messages, we can add any kind of message. I am adding an interactive element with buttons. We can test the campaign before broadcasting. Just enter one or more characters to select a subscriber. Then click on the send button. The test message has been received. Now, let's save it. As soon as we save, the campaign will be created and the broadcast messages will be sent right away. Let's check the campaign status. Yes, the broadcasting was successful. As we now know, we must utilize a message template, if we want to send a broadcast message to subscribers who have been inactive for 24 hours. So, let's see how to create a message template. Go to the bot manager from WhatsApp. Select the bot account, and click on the message template. From the message template settings, click on the create button. Give a name for the template. Select the locale. Then select the template category, from these three types of categories. We can create transactional, marketing, and OTP type templates. Then we have a header. Let's select a header type from the list. If we select text, then we will get a text field to add text. However, if we choose an image or another kind, we must include the image or whatever it is, when using this template. For now, I am selecting text. We can use custom field data, and name of the user on the header text if we want. Then comes the message body. Besides custom fields and name, we can use variables here. These variables data need to be added, when we use this template for broadcasting. We will see this in an example, soon in this video. Let's write the message body. We do have footer text, but it's not mandatory. 
Then we have options, to add call to action, and quick reply buttons. I am going to use a call to action button for this template. Select the button type, and add button text. Set the action value. We can add a maximum of two call to action buttons. Finally, save the template. Click on the check status. Message templates should be approved by WhatsApp before we can use them. If we make a template properly then it should be approved instantly. Now, let's see how to use the message template for broadcasting. Go to broadcasting. Select the bot account and then click on create button. Give a name for the campaign. Select anytime. It will show the targeted subscribers. Select the template from the list. We can also include or exclude any label. Then we have sending time. We can send it right away, or we can schedule this campaign. For the schedule, select the time. And then select the time zone. For instance, we will send the campaign instantly. Give a name for the start bot flow. Finally, save the campaign. Yes, the broadcast campaign is successful. We can see it in the broadcasting list. Now, we will create another message template with variables. First, we need to create variables. Under the template variables, click on create button. Just put a name for the variable. It allows only alphanumeric values. Click on the save button. Let's create one more variable. Now, let's create a template. In this template, we will use the variables we have just created. Give a name for the template. Select Locale. Select the template category. Let's select the header and enter text. On the message body, we will use variables, so that we can use different values for variables on different campaigns. Click on the variables, to select the variable. Just remember that, variables should only be used in between other texts. We cannot include it at the end, or beginning of the body. This is not permitted. Then comes the button. We will use quick reply in this instance. Add button texts. We will be able to select post back for these quick reply buttons when we set the broadcast campaign. Save it. Now, let's go to broadcasting again. Select Anytime. Select the message template we just have created. Here is the option to select Post Back for the Quick Reply button, which we have on the message template. Select a Post Back. Remember, we used variables for this message template? Here comes the variable values. Enter the value for the offer percentage and expiry date. Give a name for the start bot flow. 
click on the Save button. Yes, the broadcasting has been successful. We can see the variable value in the message. As a result, we may utilize various variable values for different campaigns, while still using the same message templates. Message templates might be sent through live chat as well. We'll show that, but first, let's make another message template with a header, other than text type. Let's create one. Go to the bot manager from WhatsApp. Select the bot account, and click on the message template. Click on the Create button. Give a name for the template. Select the locale. Select the template category. This time let's use image header. We will get the option to add an image, while using this message template. Enter body text. We do have footer text, but it's not mandatory. Add buttons. Save it. We can see that, this is a media type template. Now, let's go to the live chat of WhatsApp, and select the bot account. Select the subscriber to whom you want to send this message. Click on the send flow button. Select, Message Template. Then select the template from the list. Yes, it's asking to upload the image for the header. Upload it and click Submit. Yes, the message is here. We can use different images for different message, by using the same message template. So, this is how we can create the message templates, and use them for the broadcasting, as well on the live chat and sequence message. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.